was Philip, and his account is recorded in the book of John 1.43. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee. Then he found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. So we are not told whether he was a fisherman, but we know that he came from the city of Bethsaida. So he encounters Jesus. Then the Bible says in the book of John 1, 45 to 46, that upon his conversion, he went and called a person called Nathaniel. He evangelized. He didn't just stay with the message of the kingdom. No, remember we said that the center of this kingdom is men. That's why he does not live on animals, but he has made his abode in us as men. And he seems to have low faith and Jesus tested him. Actually, in the feeding of the 5,000, the Bible says that Jesus told him, what are we going to feed them? Because he wanted to test him. Let me read that scripture for you. In the book of John 6, uh, 5 to 10, the Bible says, Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and seeing a great multitude coming to him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that they may eat? But he said this to test him, for he himself knew what that he would do. So Jesus wanted to strengthen the faith of Philip. And he did that by posing a question to him to test where he was. At that point, he was now because he started showing the impossibility of feeding them. For him, with the denarius that he had, he said, I don't think these people can, <laughs> can be fed. So that miracle, to my understanding, even though it was to feed those people who had stayed for three days without eating, it was of strengthening the faith of Philip. And actually, uh, when Jesus was about to go in the book of John 14 from verse 6, the Bible says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through him. If you had known me, you have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. It was Philip again at this time that echoed or voiced the concern of the disciples because they all seem they are not understanding what Jesus is saying. And he asked, show us the father and it's going to be sufficient for us. It was Philip who asked that question. It means he had this desire to understand the things of God. That shows you, you know, sometimes we think, uh, you know, a perfect Christian is the one that does not ask questions. But I tell you, if this question was not asked, Jesus would not have said, he who has seen me have seen the father. So how can you say, show us the father? Don't you believe that I am in the father and father in me? The word that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the father who dwells in me does them. Believe me that I am the father, I am in the father and the father in me. All else believe me for the sake of my work. That's what he is telling Philip. And if Philip had not asked that question, would we have had a convicting answer when the issue of Trinity is being, uh, you know, posed? Because this has been one of the verses that have answered that Christ truly, he is God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in one. If he didn't ask this question, am I saying that it was right he didn't know? No. What I'm saying is that his ability to want to know has even made us to understand. So it means as much as it is seems sad, it, it, you are not more of a solid Christian because you don't ask question. You know, it's one thing to question and to ask question. To question is to, to, uh, to deny the authority of something. That is to question. But when we say about asking question, it's when you want clarification. And this was Philip. And the Bible continues to say that, uh, you know, Jesus was able to reveal who he was. And according to tradition, Philip preached in the modern day Turkey and was martyred there, being crucified upside down. And please note again, this was not Philip, the one that went to preach to Samaria. Because that Philip was chosen in the book of Acts 6 when there was an issue in distribution of bread. So him, he was a deacon. The Philip who went to preach in the book of Acts. It wasn't this Philip. It is important for us to understand so that we don't confuse. And that is Philip for you. 
he teaches us that in this kingdom, we need to understand our place. And even if we have little faith, God is able to perfect because he died as a martyr. And also he teaches us the ability to ask questions if we have not understood. You can talk to God, you can ask him things and he can reveal. And the most thing actually, we don't ask him by going to him every day. God revealed to me. Actually, he has read everything plain in the word of God. So we answer those questions by going deeper into the word of God for understanding.